so Donald Trump Jr. Uh, has basically admitted that he did take a meeting with a lawyer connected to the, to the Russian government. Uh, and he did it for the purpose of trying to get dirt and opposition research on Hillary Clinton. Now, is that illegal? Well, uh, some think that it is not just illegal, but potentially uh, treasonous. So first we go to one of the most esteemed law professors in the country, Lawrence Tribe. He says, it doesn't matter if he didn't actually get the information. Attempted theft of a presidential election in collusion with Putin is a serious felony and a high crime against the state. So because one of the very poor defenses that Donald Trump Jr. has put forward is, well, it turns out she didn't have the information I was looking for. <laughs> and now legal experts are trying to clarify to Donald Trump Jr. belatedly that you could have a conspiracy to get that information even if you didn't get it, that's still a crime. So for example, if you and several other people decided that you were gonna rob a bank, you made a plan and you took action to rob that bank, but then you found out that the bank was closed that day and you went back home. You've actually already committed a crime. So um, in this case, he's like, well, I, I went to go get stolen goods, but she didn't have them. Well, how unlucky of me. <laughs> okay, I don't know, man. So Richard Painter, former ethics lawyer for George W. Bush, uh, says if he intended to get illegally stolen private information from the Russians, it was illegal for him to attempt to do so, just like buying stolen go goods from a known fence. Now, Richard Painter is not going to stop there. He's coming with a two by four here. Uh, here he is on television. Donald Trump Jr. Uh, and Jared Kushner were apparently both of them involved in this. And this was an effort to get opposition research on an opponent in an American political campaign from the Russians who are known to be engaged in spying inside the United States. We do not get our opposition research from spies. We do not collaborate with Russian spies unless we want to be accused of treason. And I can say I worked for two and a half years as the chief ethics lawyer of the Bush administration. The Bush administration never would have tolerated this. And if this story is true, we'd have one of them, if not both of them, in custody by now, and we'd be asking them a lot of questions because this is unacceptable. This borders on treason. If it is not itself treason, depending on whether the New York Times story is true. Wow, that is a former Bush official. Now he's been tough on the Trump administration throughout, uh, but those are about as strong awards as you can find. But he's not alone. Nick Ackerman is a former Watergate prosecutor. Let's see what he has to say. Legal implications here. Uh, first of all, we've got a potential for actual treason. Uh, we've got Donald Trump Jr., uh, the mini me to the president, who is meeting with a Russian operative, um, thinking that he's going to get information on the Hillary Clinton campaign. Where do you think that was coming from? If this was a Russian operation, it was something that was coming through spying. So there is plenty of smoke here, and I think we're getting close to the fire. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use an analogy here that some will consider inflammatory, but I, it's an analogy. It doesn't mean he actually did this, so I just want you to be under, understand that, okay? If um, Trump or anyone had gone to another adversary of ours who they thought was spying in on their opponents and gotten information, it would be problematic. Now, say if I say the Canadians, you might say, well, yeah, but there are allies, so. Is that really so bad? The answer would be yes, it is, it's still illegal. If I say the Chinese, you say, okay, yeah, I get it. The Chinese might wanna steal information about Hillary Clinton or maybe Trump depending on who they're supporting and give it to the opponent. That would be bad to work with a foreign government like that. What if I said another adversary like Al Qaeda? Imagine if Al Qaeda had information that they had stolen somehow from one of the people running in the race and they offered it to the other. Another camp was like, sure. I mean, I'll just take a meeting with them and see what kind of information they stole on my opponents and see if I could use it in the election. I think people would be pretty pissed, right? I'm not saying that Russia is the same thing as Al Qaeda. I'm giving you a range from Canada to Al Qaeda to give you a sense that that is not something you do. You don't try to go get stolen information, certainly from our adversaries or even from our allies from a foreign country to use against your political opponents. Yes, that is in fact illegal. And there's one last interesting theory here, it's from Lizzie Moran. She's a former CIA operative and she's basically saying, you know, 
They might have done this, the Kremlin might have done this just to get these idiots to show up. And if they do, then they have something on them. Even if there's no information to give them, you show up to this meeting, the Russians know that you showing up is in and of itself illegal, then they have the goods on you. If they wanted to use that against you, maybe they could. So let me have her explain. She says, I have conducted background investigations. If you do not, and then she went on to talk about Jared Kushner's role. Right, so she called that a trap, a, a rush, potential Russian trap. And then Jared Kushner did not disclose this meeting. He was in the meeting along with uh, Donald Trump Jr. and Paul Manafort. And she says, since he didn't put it in his background check, she explains as a person who's done this before, I have conducted background uh, investigations. If you do not disclose meetings with foreign nationals, especially one promising dirt in exchange for something, that's a big deal. That's not leaving out an address you had for two months in college. It's raising a number of eyebrows and can result in a counterintelligence investigation and it can get you locked up. Uh oh. <laughs> so now Donald Trump Jr. has lawyered up and is not answering questions about this anymore. Um, that uh, his effort to get an attorney apparently a day too late because he has already admitted that he was in fact looking for opposition research. Uh, he did go to that meeting, he did know what the meeting was about. Uh, and his excuse that, well, I didn't wind up getting the stolen goods is not a very good legal excuse. What is that I hear? Lock him up, lock him up. If you like this video, you probably like independent media. The best way to support independent media, become a member of the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.